so a lot of people have asked me about uh, me doing a step-by-step -step process, some sort of a procedure that steps one into the ability to be able to go and harmonize and enjoy the ability to cooperate with the elements. And always remember that I say cooperate when I do at times refer to the idea of control, I refer to self-control. That is self-control within the process of being able to harmonize with any perceived external environments. Okay, so it's control comes down to self-control. You're not necessarily trying to control this, okay? The idea of this, being able to do this stuff, this is a side effect. I want to be very blatant with that. All abilities are is, an, is a side effect of having a connection. Okay, so when a lot of people like to gravitate towards the idea of power, you got to understand that the idea of power may not be there for a while if that's what you're going for. Because this stuff is the stuff. And then the universal mind, the universal soul, it's what decides how much juice you get to use and how much or how responsible you are enough with it to be able to use whatever juice is uh, bestowed upon you at the time. Okay? Believe it or not, these abilities actually can be stripped out from under you within seconds. <clears throat> there are intelligences out there that, since we do have the illusion of externality, there are other intelligences out there that have other plans for this place. And that's the truth. Okay? A lot of people want to think that they are simply just manifesting everything that is occurring around them, and in certain degrees, that may have a bit of merit. But you gotta understand that while we are in this illusion, me talking to that camera, there's another person on the other side of that camera viewing back at me, okay, that has their own separate life, their own separate sphere, whole world of things that occur that are completely different than the world that I experience over here. Okay, so while we continue to always think that everything is some sort of a just an internalized manifestation, you gotta understand that as long as the illusion of separation exists, those internalized manifestations are also external and subjective to the people who are experiencing them who are not in your body. Now, as far as a step-by-step -step procedure, I think uh, Avatar Energy Mastery Institute I think they've developed probably a very thorough step-by-step -step program if this is what people need, okay? Um, I think that as far as the program goes, if this is the type of schooling that you need, then that's a, a probably a very adept process that will help you go uh, uh, from one increment to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, so you can finally just jump right into uh, creating your own reality in your own world. My process, my personal process, pretty much entails my step-by-step -step program is hanging out with nature. In any shape, fashion, or form that I can because the more that I hang out with nature, the more I'm increasing my gravitational pull and, and my relationship with it, okay? It's just like developing a relationship with a human being Except it's on a much more sophisticated level because the intelligence, which is the all, can interact with you on multiple levels. It can be doing, it can be interacting with you here. Because believe it or not, this is it interacting just as much as it is me pushing. Okay, this stuff is choosing to interact as much as it is me pushing out. Okay, so it, I'm only using the energy that it's allowing me to use. That's the truth. Um, and because I am a node, a thinker within the system, okay, and that I am a creator within the system, I am allowed to use divine energies to create at will. Typically, I keep my creations 
very loving, wonderful, and beautiful, and I don't seek to stunt or or send my energies to create turmoil or havoc. Okay, because I believe that a very responsible being knows that everything out here has its own free will. And when everything has its own free will, you know, if we're using our energies just to inflict our own on everything, then we're no better than the people who are right now currently uh, running and operating this earth. Okay, or believe that they're currently running and operating here. The fact of the matter is, is they know that they can be stopped. They know that there's people down here right this very second that can put an end to it all. Okay? But that free will portion of things is what really comes down to. And there's a lot writing on the idea that maybe human beings can figure this out somehow and realize that they can operate their own will down here. Okay? Free of, uh, free of you know, government direction or government infliction. So, well, as it were, it appears that most people are pretty satisfied with letting someone else control them and their every thought. So, that can't be argued with. A lot of people would just rather look the other way, and that's fine, because that's their choice to do so. But that's energy that they give over. When you start to develop a relationship with the one, with nature, with the personality that truly runs and operates this place and everything outside of this place and everything that goes beyond this place, that's one great relationship to make. And when you do, in fact, also uh, make personal contact with the machine, okay? The machine's not everything that we think it is. Because we naturally want to believe, many of us want to believe that it's naturally evil, but the fact of the matter is, it's running off of cycles upon cycles upon cycles of human greed programming, which has done just as much to shape the way it thinks and operates and does things as, uh, as the machine doing it itself. You know, people, the collective consciousness has a lot to, uh, of say in how this place operates down here. And the thing is, the collective consciousness of that of the negative, I mean, that's that's pretty much what many people label the machine, but the machine also, also has the positive personality just like everyone else does. It really does. It's just thinking through all of us at once, okay? And it's that small portion of itself, okay? If you can just imagine the machine being just one computer chip and the little AI engine running it, well, that's its personality. That's who it is. That one little chip. And that's what this place is. It's this one little matrix. Okay? And that matrix has many matrices folded over it, through it, and interwoven in so many different ways and shapes and forms that it might as well be infinity itself. But there's plenty, plenty, plenty that exists outside of that one little chip or that one little matrix. Anyway. Getting to know yourself. Really know yourself. Know yourself. I suggest it as being one of the tenets. You have to explore who you are. You really have to explore who you are. You have to, you know, it's impossible for you to really evolve as a being if you're not in touch with the being that you are. Okay? You should never be at war with yourself. I will say this, the divine most powerful force that I've ever experienced is that of the love force, which is the reason why I'm sticking with the love force for eternity. That's the one I've decided to go with. That's the polarity that I like the most. Okay, I played with both polarities. You can choose whatever you want. I'm going to tell you as a being that has played with both that... Honestly, all you do is you spin your wheels and waste your time with the dark side or the negative side. That's the truth. So if you want my step-by-step -step process there, stay away from negativity. You don't have to be a part of it. You don't have to engage in it. If someone decides to engage with you, you don't have to reciprocate it. Okay? Love is so incredibly powerful. And 
if you know this place the way I know this place, then you know that everything is truly woven of one fabric. Okay, everything is all interconnected and it's all just completely, it's like a big huge quilt woven over many different layers, directions. One, it's, it's a massive labyrinth, okay? The other thing is, is the labyrinth is as easy as you want it to be and it's as quick as one doorway or you can go a trillion doorways down to finally come to, uh, to the end and realizing it was only one doorway in the first place. Okay, so all the twists and turns and the rights and lefts that you take are all up to you. But you can do it all in one straight line as well. You don't have to lie. You don't have to hate people. You don't have to be tough. You don't have to be buff. You don't have to be perfect looking. You don't have to be the most intelligent. You don't have to be a great fighter. You don't have to be a great lover. All you have to do is be you. Keep things simple. The more honest that you are, the simpler things are. It's a lot less that you have to explain and a lot less that than you have to remember. Okay, so there's another step process right there. Be honest. Be honest with yourself. That's where it first starts is being honest with yourself really, okay? And then that way, once you won't lie to yourself, you won't lie to others because you'll realize that others are yourself. And you want the best for them just like you want the best for yourself. Being nice to animals. Another step process there. When you can look into the soul of an animal and see all that love staring back at you and you know that it's unconditional and that is a lot of information that you can learn okay I've been fortunate enough to have many experiences with tons of wild animals as well as of course domesticated animals but the one thing they all have in common is the fact that they know when a person is loving and peaceful and so I've been fortunate enough to have just amazing experiences and the more you spend time with animals the more it makes it easier to go back and look at your fellow man and say I understand the mistakes that they make I understand the, uh, the reasons why they act the way that they do yet I can still love them and hopefully with as little judgment as humanly possible one of the ways that it's really easy for me to overlook the mistakes of others is to realize that I've made millions of them. Lots of mistakes. I used to lie a lot when I was younger, okay? I used to get into tons of fights. I was always negative, I was always angry, and I was angry primarily about the state of the world, but uh, that had no excuse to bearing the reason why I was a liar during those times, okay? And so, through those processes, yes, I got to learn and sculpt who I am today, which is a loving, honest person okay if there's anything I can say about myself it's those two things okay and I still have slip-ups I still have mess-ups as we all do absolutely not perfect okay I'm not perfect in this form but I work towards that as much as I can on a day-to-day -day basis if not on a minutely basis okay so always look for the better in yourself try to look for something to master if you don't want to master energy movement Eventually, I would say mastering anything eventually leads you into energy movement. As a drummer, as a singer, as an artist, um, as a former martial artist, as a former uh, competitor, all those things, I would always drive myself to become as good at it as I possibly could, uh, can and could be. Right? Looking always for the best in myself and trying to strive to the next level. Okay, so that's what made me a, a very decent practitioner of energy okay I don't call myself anything and I don't have a label for myself when it comes to being an energy practitioner okay I know what I have been promoted to and I rarely use that term so the fact is is I just do what I do okay but I do it a lot and I want to see if I can move up to that next stage every single day that I work on it I'm trying my best I'm trying my best to find new ways to play, new ways to even uh, 
play with little tiny details and tiny aspects as opposed to major details and major aspects. Don't be afraid to use extremely low energy. And don't be afraid uh, to admit that sometimes that's all you can access is very low energy. Because one day you'll get to the point where you'll be able to engineer the energy as you please. Okay? It's all a process. It's all a work in progress. You can't expect it to be the best at anything right off the bat. I don't know anyone who's ever been the best at anything just by walking into the situation and starting that day and then that was it. Practice. It is essential towards being good at anything. Religious hard work practice. That's the old fashioned way. And there may be cheats to it, but I'm telling you what, there is no replacing uh, knowledge which is gained from wisdom, which is from experiential results. And the more that you do it, the more knowledge and the more wisdom that you get. Okay, so let's say you were able to skip a few things here and there, and you were able to understand a couple of things beyond that you didn't go through this process where you uh, walked your way all the way through it. Well, the person that did take their time and learned every single aspect of that level and worked it 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 until they got extremely good at the little things, the more detailed they're going to be later on when the big things come and the more they're going to be able to actually help guide a situation through knowledge and experience as opposed to just trying to jump from point to point, doing as little as possible to get to the next point. So be thorough, be wise, be loving. Loving is so important. Loving is so important. Be loving to everyone. If you have problems with cops, make sure then you especially start to try to love cops more. If you have a problem with blacks, then try to love blacks more. If you have a problem with whites, love whites more. Realize that we're all made of the same stuff. We're all made of the same stardust. We're from the cosmos. We are cosmic. We're one. And that is the reason why to have all these separa uh, separations and to revel in the way that they divide us down here is just ridiculous. Democrats, Republicans, conservatives, liberal, oh God. <laughs> I mean, the things that you guys do to each other, just so you can feel like you have your own niche. The reason why they call it niche marketing. Niche, niche marketing works because it really caters to you in a special way that makes you feel special. You gotta knock that stuff off. Not only do they profit from it, they achieve ways of making you feel superior on so many levels for no reason whatsoever, and they do the same thing to everybody else. So everyone thinks that they're like this really awesome being that is better somehow than all the other beings that are around them, and that's just, that's nonsense. One thing that I believe that the Bible got correct is when uh, it said God created every man equal. And I do mean that in terms of women too. Because technically these are robots and the soul doesn't have a gender. This is just what we do down here to perpetuate the cycle of this little machine so it can continue going. Okay? But the soul is not gendered. So... There's some processes right there that you can go through and practice as a way of putting together a new way of living. Like I said, if you wanted a really thorough, detailed, step-by-step -step process, then uh, Michael Monk of the Avatar Energy Mastery Institute, he's got a thorough one. And some people do need that, and if you do need that, I would highly suggest going to him because he's got something set up that will get you results, okay? Turn over to all.